What up, y'all? This is your boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mel, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Friday, March 17th, 2017, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mel, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. App, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Guardians of the Galaxy series director James Gunn has confirmed that there will be a third film in the franchise. The filmmaker said in a new interview with Complex, there will be a Guardians 3, that's for sure. We're trying to figure it out. He continued by saying, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do really. That's all it is. I got to figure out where I want to be, what I want to spend the next three years of my life doing. He concluded by saying, you know, I'm going to big, uh, make another big movie. Is it the Guardians or something else? I'm just going to figure it out over the next couple of weeks. Gunn also discussed how the Ragtag Guardian crew, including Star-Lord played by Chris Pratt, Gamora played by Zoe Zaldana, Drax the Destroyer played by Dave Bautista, Rocket played by Bradley Cooper, and Baby Group played by Vin Diesel will fit into Marvel's upcoming Avengers sequel, Infinity War. He says, you know, listen, I don't think we should overstate things that it is an event movie but the guardians are part of the cosmic universe they're part of that thanos story so they are in there and they have not the biggest but an integral part to to that before the guardians teamed up with the avengers however the team will be meeting star lord's long lost father ego played by kurt russell as seen in the latest trailer for guardians of the galaxy volume 2 gun explained about the character ego is a living planet who is able to manifest himself in different ways he's been alone for millions of years and he learns how to control the molecules around him in such a way as to create avatars of themselves such as kurt russell the new film will also see the group teaming up with former antagonist yondu played by michael rooker and nebula played by karen gillian along with series newcomer mantis played by palm clementeff guardians of the galaxy volume 2 arrives in theaters may 5th 2017 the National Board of Review says it will announce its choices for the best films of 2017 on November 28th. The winner of its prestigious awards will be honored at a ceremony in New York on January 4th. Te- television personality Willie Geis is to host a gala for the fourth year in a row. The MBR president, Annie Shiloff, said in a statement Wednesday, The MBR is thrilled to welcome the wonderful Willie Geis back to our annual celebration in January and to return to Caprini, the event's longtime home. We look forward to being one of the first groups to announce and honor the best in year-end filmmaking achievements. The MBR last recognized last year the excellence in Manchester by the Sea, Moonlight, OJ, Made in America, and The Salesman, all films that went on to win either an Oscar or Emmy glory. Ardman Animation and Studio Canal have released an official teaser trailer for their upcoming prehistoric adventure, Early Man. Eddie Redmayne, Tom Hiddleston, and Macy Williams will lead the voice cast of director Nick Park's movie, which is due in British theaters on January 26. They play respective Doug, Guna, and Laura Tooth. Park said in a statement accompanying Thursday's video, Today we get to meet Doug's tribe, a lovable bunch of misfits voiced by some of exceptional British talents. They're essentially a group of inept cavemen and women, including Tree Boar, played by Richard Ayolda, a gentle giant scared of its own shadow, Magma, Tree Boar's no-nonsense mother, voiced by Selena Griffins, and Mark Williams as Barry, whose best friend is a rock. Chief Bomnar is voiced by the brilliant Timothy Spall, leads the pack as their long-suffering leader and father figure to his tribe of idiotic brutes. Park and Ardman are the creators of the cartoon icons Wallace and Gromit and Shaun the Sheep. Oscar-winning actor Michael Douglas is confirmed to attend a pair of high-profile events at the 2017 TCM Classic Film Festivals in Hollywood next month. Michael, who's 72, is scheduled to sit down with TCM's host Ben Manowicz for an in-depth interview about his career as part of annual Live from the TCM Classic Film Festival series. The Wall Street, Fatal Attraction, and Ant-Man star is also set to participate in a discussion following a screening of the 1979 thriller The China Syndrome, which he produced and starred in opposite Jane Fonda and Jack Lemmon. Uh, Makowitz said in a statement, Michael Douglas has been part of our collective Hollywood consciousness his entire life, from chasing bad guys through the streets of San Francisco to playing an iconic bad guy in Gordon Gecko. Michael has stayed not only relevant but vital. To say that I'm looking forward 
uh, to discussing the career of an actor who plays Liberace 38 years after producing one foof over, over the cuckoo's nest is a huge understatement. The 2017 TCM Classic Film Festival is to take place April 6th to the 9th. Voice from the Stone released a creepy first trailer starring Amelia Clark this week. The 30-year-old English actress plays Verena, a nurse troubled with helping a troubled boy played by Edward George Dring after his mother's death from a mysterious illness. Voice from the Stone is based on the novel of the same name by Sylvia Raffo, which is set in 1950s Tuscany. The movie co-stars Lord of the Rings actor Martin Kuskus and is directed by Eric D. Howell. Clark told USA Today, Oh man, the castle we filmed in was scary. I don't believe in ghosts, but if there was anything to make me question that, it was shooting there at night. She also added the households on Verena is mixed with all of the loneliness she has felt in her life as a nurse who is always moving from one family to another. It seems that happiness is only a family away. Oprah Winfrey and Rose Byrne search for the truth in the first trailer for HBO's upcoming television movie, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Based on the book of the same name, the film depicts the true story of Henrietta Lacks, whose cells were used without permission to create the first immortal human cell line, which led to unprecedented breakthroughs that changed the face of medicine. The clip released Wednesday follows Lacks' daughter, Deborah, played by Winfrey, as she learns about what happened to her mother alongside journalist Rebecca Sloot, played by Byrne, who writes the book of the, on their findings. Winfrey says, I hope I don't regret this after she agrees to burn writing the book. Uh, and HBO notes the synopsis, science took her cells, her family reclaimed her story. Written and directed by George C. Wolfe, the film also stars Renee Ellis Goldsberry, Rocky Carroll, Kiana Simone Simpson, Courtney B. Vance, Leslie Uggams, Reg E. Cathy, Reed Burney, Ruben Santiago Hudson, John Douglas Thompson, Adrian Lennox, Roger Robertson, and Melvin Van Peebles. The Immortal Life of Henry Lacks is set to premiere on HBO April 22nd. Hollywood couple John Krasinski and Emily Blunt will star in a new movie, A Quiet Place. The 37-year-old actor will direct and star with the 34-year-old actress in the supernatural thriller, according to Variety. Krasinski will also rewrite the script from writer and director duo Scott Beck and Brian Woods. Krasinski, Beck, and Woods will executive produce with Alison Seeger, with Michael Bay, Andrew Form, and Brad Fuller of Platinum Duns as producer. Krasinski has expressed interest in doing a film in the vein of The Purge and Ouija, while working working with Platinum Duns on the new Amazon series Jack Ryan. According to The Hollywood Reporter, A Quiet Place will be a semi-contained thriller set on a farm where a family is being terrorized by evil. So as whole variety, Krasinski and Blunt prefer to keep their home and work lives separate, but jumped at the project after reading the script. The couple married in 2010 and shared two daughters, three-year-old Hazel and nine-month-old Violet. The actor told Entertainment Tonight in August, All the cliches of parenting are true and you feel all sorts of new things. It was really this new um, existential magnet that you feel drawn to your family. He also added, Hazel's amazing, she really loves the baby, and I think there is this idea of, oh my god, she is adorable. I mean, when a two-year-and-a-half-year-old hugs a newborn, it's one of the cutest things you will ever see. In this case, known for playing Jim Happert on The Office, and previously directed brief interviews with hideous men and the hollers. Glenn is also slated to star as the title character in Disney's Mary Poppins Returns. CBS has revealed when viewers will be able to watch Candy Crush, Salvation, Zoo, and Big Brother this summer. Season 19 of the reality competition show Big Brother will once again be hosted by Julie Chen and will feature three weekly episodes. It is scheduled to return with a two-hour premiere on June 28th. Season 3 of Zoo, based on James, Patterson, James Patterson's sci-fi novel, will begin on June 29th. Returning are cast members James Wolk, Christine Conley, Nozo Anozi, and Billy Burke. The new live-action game show, Candy Crush, is to debut July 9th, while Salvation, a suspense thriller starring Charlie Rose, Santiago Cabrera, and Jennifer Finnegan, is set to star on July 10th. Sci-Fi ha says it has renewed its drama 12 Monkeys for a fourth and final season. Thursday's pickup announcement arrives ahead of the show's season 3 premiere May 19th. Terry uh, Matalas, the executive producer, showrunner, 
and executive producer and co-developer of the show says Universal Cable Productions and Sci-Fi have given us the opportunity to tell an ambitious emotional story with the beginning, middle, and an end, if not always in that order. I can be more grateful for their faith and support. Like our fans, who may want to turn their clocks ahead to see what we've got in store, I only wish I could turn mine back to relive this incredible experience over again. Jeff Watchell, the president and chief content officer at NBC Universal Cable Entertainment, says 12 Monkeys has a dedicated, enthusiastic fan base thanks to the epic storytelling of Terry Mathis and the stellar cast and crew. We are thrilled to be able to offer fans an opportunity to binge the third season as a reward for their lasting support, and we couldn't be more excited to see where Terry takes us with the final chapter of this fabulous story in the fourth season. Synopsis reads, Season 3 will continue the story and journey of James Cole, played by Aaron Stanford, a man sent back in time to eradicate the source of a deadly plague, and his partner, brilliant virologist Dr. Cassandra Raleigh, played by Amanda Schull. The show's ensemble also includes Kurt Asivio, Emily Hampshire, Barbara Sukawa, and Tom Stashwit. Former child actor Jonathan Limnicki revealed he struggled with bullying in his teen years after starring Jimmy McGuire. Limnicki shared a message to Instagram celebrating the fact that he has now appeared in more films as an adult than he did as a child and reflected on how he was bullied following his role as Ray Boyd alongside Tom Cruise, Renee Zellweger, and Cuba Goody Jr. in the 1996 film. Uh, Lenipke wrote, As a teen kid, I was made fun of relentlessly by some people who are now even my friends on Facebook. I was told I was a has-been and would never book a job again. I was made to feel like garbage every day of middle school to the point where I had a panic attack every night before school because I wondered how I would get through the next day. He added that although the bullying continued throughout high school, he continued to pursue his acting goals and encourage others facing bullying to do the same. He wrote, Chase your dreams. It's amazing how mean people peak in their teens. Thank you to everyone who has supported and continue to support me. I love you, and I hope that sharing this can shed a little light in a positive way. The Nikki says he was experiencing anxiety about sharing the message, but decided to follow through because, quote, being, being bullied is a universal problem. He also clarified that he did not see himself as a victim, but hoped his post would provide hope for others facing similar difficulties. He says, as much as easy said than done overcoming being bullying is a reality and i hope this resonates with all of you Whoopi Goldberg set the record straight Tuesday on The View regarding claims that made in fake news article that the actress put her and her family's life in danger. The article published March 1st on website undergroundnewsreport.com falsely claimed that Goldberg said on The View that the wife of a Navy SEAL is being honored during President Trump's speech to Congress was just looking for attention. Goldberg said on the daytime talk show, something came out of a website, a fake news website about me, and it's endangering my family's life and endangered my my life. It turns out the entire website was created by a guy who just wanted to see how quickly stories he made would spread. Uh, he also added, if you say Whoopi th- did this, people just assume it's true because nobody has to prove anything. I've had, for the last 20 years, great relationships with vets and their wives and the Veterans Administration. But when someone writes a bit of a horrible lie, as this man did, he accused me of saying that the woman that was celebrating, that was celebrated by the current president, whose husband died, was doing it for the attention. She also, he also, she also added, if I hadn't been made aware of this, I could have found about this at the end of the barrel of a gun. The creator of Underground News Report James McDonnell, an American living in Costa Rica, has since taken the article down and has defended himself by stating his website does not pretend to be a legitimate news site. McDaniel said while speaking with BuzzFeed, In all the fake news that's going on right now, I can't recall a single case where a celebrity has been attacked as a result of a fake news story. In my mind, it sounded like she was very frustrated. She had all these fake news stories going around about her. Now she finally has somebody who identifies himself. Goldberg also called for legislature that would require content for the subjects of a fake news article before it's posted. The segment ended with the 61-year-old stating that she plans on suing McDaniel. She says, Sir, the fact that you don't give a crap that it endangers me is unconscionable. I'm going to get my lawyer and I'm coming after you. Reality star and model Kendall Jenner has reportedly been robbed of $200,000 in jewelry. The 21-year-old television personality called police at 1.15 a.m. Thursday after she noticed expensive jewelry missing from her bedroom in her Hollywood Hills home, according to TMZ. 
So as later told the website, Jenner hosted a party at her home Wednesday evening and left her friends alone in the house around midnight. She discovered her jewelry box was open after returning just after 1 a.m. The Los Angeles Police Department told E! News they received the call at 1.15 a.m. Thursday but would not confirm if the call came from Jenner. The department said there were no signs of forced entry at the home. The spokesperson said officers did search of the premises. No, sp- no suspects were found. It's an ongoing investigation. The report that theft comes five months after Jenner's half-sister Kim Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in her hotel in Paris. The 36-year-old reality star who lost millions of dollars worth of jewelry tearfully recounted the incident in a preview for the March 19th episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. She said, they dragged me out the hallway on top of the stairs. That's when I saw the gun clear as day. I was kind of looking at the gun and looking down back at the stairs. Jenner, Kardashian, and their family have starred on Keeping Up with the Kardashians since 2007. The series returned for a 13th season last week. RuPaul announced Wednesday that he recently tied the knot with George Labar. The 56-year-old television personality, born, born RuPaul Andre Charles, said on Hollywood Today Live that he secretly wed his longtime love in January. RuPaul told host Ross Matthews and Amanda Salas, I've never said this on television before. We are married. This is Scoop. I've never said it before. We are. Yeah. He shared, we got married on our 23rd anniversary. I met him on the dance floor at Limelight in 1994 on his birthday. So we got married on his birthday, the anniversary of when we met this year in January. The RuPaul's drag race host followed by sharing a throwback photo of himself in the bar on Twitter. He thanked his followers for their well wishes and quoted the Supreme's song, I Hear a Symphony, in the caption. Uh, thank you for all the love and kindness. I cried not for myself, but for those who never felt the joy we felt. The Supremes, I hear a symphony. RuPaul describes Labar as so kind and funny and a sweet, sensitive man in an interview with BuzzFeed in 2015. He said at the time that they had no plans to marry and explained his change of heart on Hollywood Today Live. The star said, never wanted to do it. We were looking into it really, for tax breaks and for financial purposes. RuPaul's Drag Race will premiere a ninth season on March 24th on VH1. SpongeBob SquarePants creator Steven Heidenberg has announced that he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which affects the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. Nickelodeon tweeted Tuesday, our thoughts and supports are with Steven and his family. Heidenberg said in a statement, I want people to hear directly from me that I've been diagnosed with ALS. Anyone who knows me knows that I will continue to work on SpongeBob SquarePants and my other passions for as long as I am able. My family and I are grateful for the outpouring of love and support. We ask that our sincere request for privacy be honored during this time. Variety cited an unnamed source close to Hillenburg as saying the 55-year-old writer and animator is in the early stages of the disease. Victoria Beckham's first Target ad pays tribute to her past with the Spice Girls. 42-year-old English designer released a promo for her Victoria Beckham's Times Target collection Wednesday, set to her former girl group song Spice Up Your Life. Uh, she tweeted to her 11.5 million followers, my first ever TV advert for ad VBX Target. So much fun with at Target Style Times VB. See it at victoriabeckham.com slash Target. Turn it up and hashtag Spice Up Your Life. Beckham followed up with it by posting photos of the looks for the forthcoming collaboration. The line will be available on April 9th. Three Chicago public school students have penned an open letter to Chance the Rapper for thanking him for his recent $1 million donation. Tenth graders Alex Rojas, Alondra Saros, and Annalise Bentecourt of Lakeview High School wrote, First and foremost, we as Chicago public school students would like to thank you for the supportive donation to our schools. They continue by saying, as we all know, CPS has been struggling financially, and your donation has really given us a push to get to where we need to be and possibly motivate others to give back to the community as well. This is only one of the many things that you have done to improve Chicago. Uh, she also, they also added, there are many big celebrities from Chicago, but you are one of the few that really give back. It is evident that you sincerely care for the youth here. This is why you're an inspiration to us. We appreciate you for not only representing us through your music, but also through your actions. In responding to the letter Chance wrote on Twitter, I appreciate you guys. You'll be happy to know the work it has only just started. Think huge things to come over in the next two weeks. Chance's real name is Chancellor Bennett, had donated a million dollars to Chicago Public Schools after meeting with Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner, who vetoed a $215 million funding bill that schools in Chicago's were counting on. 
90s boy band Hanson previewed a new song this week after announcing a forthcoming tour. Brothers Isaac Taylor and Zach Hanson performed an acoustic version of I Was Born ahead of their Middle of the Nowhere 25th anniversary tour. The group wrote on their official Twitter page on Tuesday, new song, hashtag I Was Born, acoustic premiere, and Taylor birthday message, enjoy. Hanson's upcoming tour celebrates their debut studio album, Middle of Nowhere, which was released in May 1977. The band will kick off the tour June 1st in Columbia. Alone, Germany, and bring the venture to a close October 27th in Houston, Texas. Taylor, who's 34, said in a press release, making music f- together for 25 years is a milestone that we had to acknowledge, and what better way to do it than with an anniversary tour? Isaac, who's 36, added, This year is not only about the two decades of music, it's about celebrating the incredible community of fans who have been with us singing along year after year. Hanson is best known for the single Mbop and last released the album Anthem in 2013. The group will release a greatest hits album later this year. And as your entertainment report for Friday, March 17th, 2017, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Bray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night and God bless you all.